Hey medicos, welcome back. In this lecture, we are going to talk on very special topic that is the art of history taking in medicine. This is very important topic because I assure you, your examiner going to ask one question from this topic. And if you have not answer this answer, then I think God might save you. So let it be. First, we will going to talk about Pharma. In Pharma, first of all, we will ask personal profile, then we will ask chief complaint, then history of present illness, then past history, after that personal history, then family history and at the end we will ask what is your provisional diagnosis and from above given history did you make any differential diagnosis. So this is the pro pharma. Let's take an example Narendra Godi, yes I said Godi. Narendra Godi, 64 year old male patient, resident of Mumbai, worker by occupation, Hindu by religion, came with chief complaint of. So this is our case scenario. In this lecture, we are mainly going to focus on personal profile. So here, why did I ask name, age, sex, address, occupation, why? Is there any significance? Yes, there is a significance of each and every word here. If I am your examiner, I will definitely going to ask you why did you ask name. So let's talk about the personal profile. Your answer should be sir. It is important to ask name because it is for the identification of patient, to build rapport with the patient and name also indicates religion. Then my next question is why did you ask about religion? Yes, your answer should be in some religions like Muslim, if your case is CNS, you can say neurocystic sarcosis is very common. And in Muslims, circumcision leads to reduce the rate of penile cancer. And the families like Agrawal, there are more cases of thalassemia. So this is the important of name. Okay, then I will ask, why did you ask age? Is there any significance? Yes, sir. Here is the significance of age because in some particular ages, there is a particular diseases like in old ages, more common diseases like atherosclerosis, diabetes mellitus and stroke. Yes, aap aise examples de sakte. Then I will ask, why did you ask sex? Is there any significance? You will again say, yes, sir, there is a significance because in females, most common disorders like thyroid disorders and autoimmune disease and in males we most commonly see Duchenne muscular dystrophy and hemophilia so this is the important of sex you can give some examples like for explanation then I will ask why did you ask here occupation so it's be important hai. why like in commercial sex workers there is a more cases of HIV and syphilis in farmers because they work on the field Cases like snake bites, injury, heat stroke, mycetoma are more common in farmers, right? Then you can also add some examples like painter, they having more common lead poisoning and if anyone's occupation is factory worker, then those having more common asbestosis and pneumoconiosis. And yes, there is a significance of address because in south part, there is a more common cases of peptic ulcer. In west side, you can see more common cases of kidney stone. In state like UP and BR, there are more common cases of Kala Azar. And if you are from Midarva, you can definitely know there are more common cases of hemoglobinopathies. Like in the Gachiroli part, Gondia, Bhandara, Nagpur, these parts having more common cases of hemoglobinopathies. So this is the importance of address. Now let's talk about our next topic that is chief complaint. Chief complaints are very important and don't forget here always write chief complaint in patient's language. Okay, chronology samjiye. Mention this all complaints in chronological sequence and don't forget here to mention time since onset of each complaint. Like take an example, always say patient present with chief complaint of like Eloise discoloration of sclera since one month and pain in abdomen since five days. 
so this is the chronological sequence first i mentioned one month and after that i mentioned five days after that we will going to take history of present illness that is hopi starting of hopi should be patient was apparently all right since or you can also say patient was apparently asymptomatic since so this is the two ways you can write and after that from above given complaints you will going to take a history here also in chronological sequence so this is all about personal profile then we take chief complaint and hopi chief complaint or hopi mai zyada detail mein nahi gaya if you want this topics covered in fine and very detailed manner so comment kariye i will definitely going to take a lecture on these two topics and the topics like past history personal history if you want to know how examiner ask questions on pulse pallor edema lymphadenopathy i will definitely going to take a lecture on it but on your response if you are new here share this video with friends and don't forget to subscribe our channel medicos thanks for watching this video